the next basic element we'll be looking at is a resistor. What is a resistor? You are all uh, almost certainly familiar with what a resistor is. It resists the flow of current. Okay, it's given by this symbol, and if you consider the voltage across it and I a current following the passive sign convention, what a resistor does is to establish a relationship between the voltage across the resistor and the current through the resistor through a proportionality constant which is a property of the resistor. Okay. So, whenever we specify a resistor we also give its value R. Okay. What does this mean? The voltage is proportional to the current and this proportionality relationship is known as Ohm's law. Okay and the proportionality constant is called the resistance. The resistance is the voltage across the resistor divided by the current through the resistor and it has units of volts per amperes which is basically given by the symbol omega which is called ohm. Okay. So, a 1 ohm resistor has 1 volt across it when 1 ampere is passing through it. Okay. And the proportionality constant is the resistance. Okay. Now, this relationship V equals I R can be inverted to get I equals V by R or I equals G times V. Okay and this g which is 1 by r is known as the conductance of the resistor okay and this conductance is measured in uh, siemens okay so if you have a 1 ohm resistor it is the same as saying it has a conductance of 1 Siemens. If you have a 2 ohm resistor, it is the same as saying the conductance is half a Zeeman. Okay. Now, I think again all of you know how a resistor is made. It is basically some resistive material the prototype that you see in textbooks consists of a rectangular bar of a resistive material with one terminal here and another terminal there. As I showed earlier, the symbol for a resistor is this with two terminals. Let me call this A and B, okay, A and B, and then a resistor like that, a current is assumed to flow uniformly across the cross section in this way when a voltage is applied here. Okay, I will show the symbol on the right side okay. and let us say the cross sectional area of this face is something and the length along which the current flows is some length and you know that the resistance is given by the resistivity times the length divided by cross sectional area. Okay. Now, as I mentioned earlier while talking about uh, circuits in general, 
we will not worry about these details okay for us the value of resistance is what is given okay once the value is given all we need to use is the terminal relationship v equals i times r we don't have to worry about how this resistance is calculated now this formula is simple enough for a rectangular bar like this but if i had something something uneven okay some uneven shape like this with uh, curves and so on and i have a terminal here and a terminal there it becomes quite complicated to uh, carry out these calculations okay but for analyzing circuits we don't have to worry about it okay as long as it's a resistor the voltage across it will be proportional to the current through it and the proportionality constant is given by r now somebody whoever is designing the resistor will carry out the calculations for an odd shape like this if you do make an odd shaped resistor and tell you that between these we have a certain resistance r and as far as we are concerned we simply use this in our formula v equals ir to analyze circuits okay so this is what i also meant by we don't worry about spatial extents of things because we are concerned only with uh, terminal characteristics we'll use only the terminal characteristics okay so life is a lot simpler for us if you do want to calculate how much resistance a bar contributes between some terminals you do need to use electromagnetics but uh, once that resistance is determined you can uh, uh, make circuits with it and analyze circuits with it by using the terminal characteristics which is given by ohm's law okay now as before we also sometimes depict the characteristics graphically we have i and v and v is given by ir and if you take a physical resistor the resistance will be positive okay that means that if you take a bar of material and connect two terminals to it and you measure the proportionality constant between uh, v and i you will find a positive constant okay what will that uh, curve look like it will be a straight line passing through the origin and the slope of this remember we are plotting i on the y axis and v on the x axis the proportionality constant is the conductance or the reciprocal of resistance okay if you had plotted v versus i the slope would be the resistance okay so many times we you can use this graphical characteristics to either visualize intuitively some solutions or even sometimes carry out the calculations okay